Hey guys, and welcome back to another how-to video. It's Silent Knight here, and today I will be showing you how to install um, the Sfax and or any high-def quality texture pack on both Minecraft and Feed the Beast. So first of all, we're going to start off on how to add a texture pack for default Minecraft. Uh, so we're going to do a demo with Sfax. So you, what you first want to do is you're going to want to go get the texture pack. So you're going to type in Sfax, search, and that should put you up to bdcraft.net. You want to go to that site. And then you want to get the texture pack. You're going to click get it. Uh, depending on what Minecraft version you are using, you're going to want to get the appropriate version. Um, so right here, you, you, can, uh, you can choose between what bit you would want, 16 by 16, 32, 64, 128, etc., etc. I would recommend the 128. If that's, if that's end up being a little too slow for you guys, you can always try the 64 bit. Um, so either way, you want to click the version you want, so say 1.4.7 Minecraft. This will bring you to AdFly, you'll skip the ad, download the pack, and you'll acquire that. Once you have that, you're going to want to handle your Minecraft in one of two different ways. If you're already using Optifine, which I highly, highly, highly recommend using, you will already have support for defaults or support for high def quality texture packs. And in that case, if that's already installed, and by the way, if you'd like to do install, if I, and download and install Optifine, there will be links on the screen for you guys to click. Um, that will take you to my how-to videos on how to install and down, download and install Optifine. And which again, I highly, highly recommend. It will make this ten times easier and make your Minecraft run a thousand times better. So if you have Optifine, all you have to do, boot in your Minecraft, click Texture Packs, open Texture Pack folder, locate your Sfax pack, probably well, the Sfax pack, probably in your Downloads folder, grab it, and then copy-paste it. So it will be Downloads and find it. Or not Desktop Downloads, find the pack. So we scroll down to Sfax, um, find it, grab it, copy it, go back, paste it, and you should be able to find it here, and click it, click done. And that should be it. As you can see, I already have Mises, which is a 64 by 64 bit pack, uh, and that's all you need to do. Um, however, if you, cho if you choose to opt out of, uh, out of Optifine, which again, I highly recommend against not getting Optifine, uh, or I recommend getting out to find I opt I am against not having it. Uh, you'll have to go the long way. So you'll need to close out your Minecraft. You cannot have Minecraft running. So close out Minecraft. We're not gonna close it. Uh, and then you want to open up your texture or you want to locate your texture packs folder for your Minecraft. And you can do that quickly by typing in percent sign app data into the search bar. You click enter and it should bring you to the roaming folder. You'll double click dot Minecraft texture packs and you should find that the same folder where we already have our Mises uh, you'll be able to get to that same folder you want to go to downloads grab Sfax the same way you did last time and, and then copy paste it into this folder and then you're going to need to patch your Minecraft and to do that you're going to need to get the MC patcher uh, so you want to go to back to Google type in MC patcher and then you should be able to click the first link MC patcher Minecraft forums then you'll want to do, 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 do. Um, and you want to download it you here, direct download, or add fly if you want to, otherwise direct download. And this will launch you this little um, launcher, essentially, uh, which will have, which we went already downloaded ahead of time, MC Patcher. You want to run this, and this will go to your Minecraft folder and grab your Minecraft R, and this, once it boots in, will give you this menu here. You'll see this. Uh, you can check on and off whatever you'd like, uh, better skies, glass, connect textures, etc. Like that you want, make sure you have um, uh, HD fonts really nice. I like that extended HD. Um, so it'll analyze the jar, and once it's done, you'll click patch, select whatever you want here, uh, click patch, and then it should patch your Minecraft appropriately for the high def quality texture pack support. Uh, you close that out, and then you should be able to boot Minecraft, and you should be good to go. Um, that's then I believe that is how you or I know that's how you would install um, Sfax or any other high def texture pack for default Minecraft. Now we're going to move on to Feed the Beast. Uh, if you want to install Feed the Beast, um, you should automatically have Optifine, and I recommend against it. I will not explain elsewise how to install this without Optifine. So make sure you have Optifine for Feed the Beast. Um, so for Feed the Beast, you, there's an extra step you'll need to do because there's obviously a lot more textures in Feed the Beast. So you'll want to go to Patch. Go back to we'll go back to your Sfax. Um, the Sfax BDCraft.net. Uh, instead of click Get It, you click Patch, and under this you'll see the selections here. You'll go to Mod Packs, and under Mod Packs you will find. Feed the Beast, Tech It, Tech It Light, Volt, etc. Uh, you should be able to go to Patch Details. And 
you'll be able to find it under the download the options to download feed the beasts uh, add-on for or add-on patch for Svax and in Svax you want to um, you need to make sure you have the proper version so say if you grab the 32 by 32 bit you'll have to grab 32 by 32 uh, 64 64 always 120 by 120 they have to match so make sure you're matching those so then to install this you're going to want to after you download it you want to I have them both into a separate folder for convenience you're going to, want to open them up with RINRAR, WinZip, something anything that can open up a, a RAR file or a zip file open it up you're gonna open up both the Sfax pure uh, the, the Sfax pack texture pack and your add-on pack um, for the pack of the Feed the Beast add-on and then what you're gonna want to do is no and no uh, in this Feed the Beast one you're gonna want to go ahead and copy all of the things that are not Mac OS you're gonna, uh, yeah, Mac OS, you're gonna copy all these files and then you're going to drag and drop them into this pack here load them all, yada yada yada, extract them all get all the files and then you run to do 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 do, do. you click OK and this will basically put all of the uh, bitmaps that you'll need into here boom and then you click this We can close that out and then that should give you the proper so then you'll have the uh, Sfax one with the add-on put into it and then all you have to do is copy this um, boot up your feed the beast under texture packs, click texture packs, open texture pack folder, and then you want to simply paste this into your texture packs uh, folder. Then you should be able to click it directly, and then click done, and then there you go. That should install the Sfax and or again any um, texture pack that you want to put um, Sfax or you want to put any texture pack inside Feed the Beast. That's how you do it. Uh, keep in mind with the Sfax 128 bit, uh, it's very very large and it's very a lot to load. So keep in mind when you select from default to the Sfax, it will take a while to load in. Uh, and then when you click the done button for that to load in, uh, it'll take a it'll take a little bit. But don't worry, your computer your computer's not dying. Um, the Sfax is just loading in. And once it's loaded in, you should come to this menu. You should see all this like this. Then you can uh, go on and play and choose as you please. So that is how you install Sfax again, or any high def texture pack, into fe into Feed the Beast. Um, other than that, that should give you guys all the information you should need, and I hope this helped. And until next time, guys, you guys take her easy.